need to go. I don't want to delay you guys. Why, why do you think your friends are scared to speak to us? Because your confrontation. Okay, um, but the thing is, how how are we confrontational? Because uh, you know, I know all about you guys. What you're all about. So probably you, you, you came. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to get out of my space here. I'm not. I'm not to your step. Yeah, so I advise you. So you, you came to me, and you, and you were saying very no, inflammatory. Came, yeah, yeah and, and, So I, I, I want to know why, because I had a conversation with you outside the Zakir Hussein debate, and we seem to have a fairly decent conversation. You ran away from what I said, but that's yeah. fine. <laughs> I but, ran away, but you I, I mean, to, you, you yes. seem to misconstrue some of the points that I was making. I mean, you had no points. That was the problem. Well, that's your interpretation. Hence why we don't want to it's speak. It's not my interpretation. But that's not interpretation of church for the last 2,000 years. You can say what you want. Yeah, yeah we can, me. because Thing you have Sahih Hadith. You have Tafsir. Listen, my friend, end of the, the day, problem, you see the hypocrisy of your end religion. Of the day, what it is, you rely on Tafsir and Sahih Hadith for your interpretation of your Quran. But when we bring up the church fathers, you deny I've just been to Leighton Audio Football Ground, which is about half a yeah. mile What's that to do with what I just said? Speaking of yeah, that's why you're half, half a mile from here. Trust me, Christianity is deteriorating. The Trinitarian belief is deteriorating. Yeah. I'm not the that doesn't that, make Islam that true. That doesn't make Islam well, true. Well, it does. Because doesn't, wait, wait, doesn't no, the Hadith no, say no, that no, if Islam's no, true, no, if it's not true, doesn't the Hadith say that Islam will become a small discussions you've had with Nazam, he answered you left, right, and you, centre. Nazam but you didn't, didn't have the anything. capacity to speak to him and respond I've to his points. I've already spoken to Nazam many times. Do you remember when, when the leave hit him? Yeah. And, and that he was answering all your questions, yet yeah. you still also have that cognitive So what, what questions did I not answer? No, he was saying to me, he's talking Jesus about a debate that I had with Nazam. The thing is, the thing is, right? The thing is... So it's separate from Allah, his word then? Word from, It's the same you can't ask the question. So, so when the so beginning was the word, the word, the word was, was with God, God and the word, and the word was, was God, which would be a fallacy of equivocation for you. Then. Yeah, exactly, precisely. So if what? Jesus is, oh, check I'm this out. About, this is where how your faith has been dismantled. Check this out. This is where we go around people, about the Quran, so we grab actually. Christians, like all everyone is doing, and what we're doing, you see, We've got I'm two not saying this to wind you up, it's quite clear when you read John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word. The you, Word was with God. So you understand God. the Word as being Jesus. There's two persons there. Two seconds, let me finish, because you're three on one. Well, yeah, there's two persons, that's what so we there's, So there's, there's three people here, mm. Where's okay, the three and there's people? one here, three and one, which doesn't make sense anyway. Where's the three anyway, people? Hang, well, three of you, no, no, in John 1, where's the three people? When the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God. So in the beginning was the Word. So who is the Word? The Word is Jesus. The Word is the Word of our God. Well, let me finish what I'm saying to you. And the the Quran. I bring the Quran to you. No offense, you're not making a point right now, could you get to it? Yeah, so the point, well, if you let me, but yeah, yeah. I, know no, I mean, you're tactics, not kidding. So hence, no one wants to speak to you guys. Because no, you, you keep running, running, that's what I mean. Say what you you're want. You're dying, you keep running from me because you're scared. Okay, so answer John 17 free. Oh my god! Oh, you want to have an answer for that? Why are you running? So you're being racist. Who is an Uncle Tom? Is that a racist? So what is an Uncle Tom? I want to remind you, an Uncle Tom according to these people is a black man who acts white. So he's being racist right now because he's assuming my race and assuming that I'm white. What do you expect in Islam? I mean, what do you expect when your prophet was a white racist who hated black people? So he was he was he was suckled by a black woman. The first of what is. Slave was black a, woman. And Jesha was a so black you're, you're slave. Balao was a black it slave. It doesn't matter what you're you're saying. Saying. And he bought him and freed him. him. Two black he slaves for so one white slave. This is white want. supremacy yeah. in action. Why are you running, dude? Islam's finished, man. Islam is finished. Acts 13, what? So you know the Acts of Islam when they call black people with a disparaging term um, and nigger. That's what they basically call black people. It's Niger. And it's a part of the You know what they call him? Just read Acts 13, 1. The, the, pro the prophets there are distinguished. Simeon is distinguished by the color of his skin. No, he based upon the Greek word, Niyep. Simeon Niyep. was a Jew. So let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. If you've got nothing to be fearful of, you can refute me. I'm I've telling already refuted you. you. <laughs> context of oh, Acts God. chapter 13, verse 1, where black people were historically referred with that N word. Historically no. speaking, where did it come from? So you know what happened? It comes I but hear me out and I'll, and I'll finish and I'll prove it to you. you hear me out. What you're talking it's about. History. You're it's talking history. to a black Acts man so and telling me about my history. What? Yes, well, yes, why not? I know about more about history you than you nothing, do. Man. You you're nothing. a waste of space. So anyway, Acts oh, 13, speak, 1. Speak. Right, so basically speaking, they are, they are the prophets. Right. There is Simeon. There are, um, there's, um, there's Barnabas. There's right. Paul. There's someone from... Um, Jews. Yeah. Hang on, there's a multitude of who are described by the geographical area they're from, 
Yeah. No, they're all Jews. Hang on, can you bring the Acts 14 one out? If you're serious, let's go for it. Because they don't want to talk about Islam. Because they don't want to speak. No, but no, because they're all because of Brian. I want to talk to you about the word of Islam. You want to speak about it? You want to speak about it? No, no, we did. But you didn't have to speak about it. I did. You never. Dude, you're lying. Because you said to me, oh, John, and you never let me finish. I can show you where your fallacy of equivocation lies. So where is it? Where you say it. So where is it? Okay, you're going to let me finish then. That's the question. Okay, go on, go on. Give me a guarantee to let me finish. I'm not going to let you rant. No, no, you're not going to let me rant because you know. No, no, Mohammed, I'm not going to let you rant for like one hour. You make a point, then I bring one, then you make a point, Mohammed. You're a Thomas. Why do you have to make a white man's sister religion? That's the point. Why? You're so racist. That's what it is, isn't it? Dude, where are you? Where Acts 14 is? So why don't you tell us what does Islam say about black people? Where did you end? What are you taking for? What the hell? What does Islam say about black people? Bro, these guys are dumb. You are literally dumb ass. Let me tell you about black people. In Islam, the first person person who will enter paradise is a name a guy called Bilal. I thought he was Muhammad. It was Muhammad. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. You're a liar. You read your hadith. Say what you want, man. You can say this. Listen, read your hadith. Come on, why do you? Listen, you are literally a clown. clown. So basically, the worst you say. Say. You say. See how this racist so Muslim is going on? And we've got this racist bearded Muslim on camera right now. Because he wants to be like his father. Why do you have to make this about his race? That's a very low blow. His prophet was a white slave master. No, it's not because. It's not. You're not. That you have to use his face to, to attack him. Bow down to the white man. Were you, were you, no, were you your ancestors, no, those who licked the white man? Oh, the Hadith say your prophet had white white armpits, white hands, white arms, and you're telling us that we have a white slave. See, in Islam, they're racist. Are you all right? Who was Moses according to our belief? A black man. What about to you according to your belief? Where's he saying the Quran is black? He was a black man. He's mentioning our Hadith, he's a black person. So we mentioned your hadith. Yes. Right? And it's also mentioned your hadith that Muhammad's white. And Muhammad's a white slave master. At the end of the day, what was what Jesus? Who cares? We say you, Jesus is a white man. Do you get this guy's logic? And you and literally Satan just state earlier on that I'm a slave to white man. Right? But so are you, because you're a slave to Muhammad. No, no. Why does Muhammad say you have to no, behave? Because he's not no, no. Why does Muhammad say you have to behave in a hadith? You're a slave to the Euro African. Why does Muhammad say you have to obey him in a hadith? What colors are the shame? What colors are the jinn and Satan? They're black because your religion is racist and you've been exposed as a racist. That's why you have. To use racial slurs to attack John now because you have no, you can't defend your faith. English people become Muslims. Irrelevant. What? Irrelevant. Very relevant. Muhammad was a racist. Imagine, white slave. Imagine, imagine, like he, you, you are a racist. You are a racist. You are a racist. You are disgraced. Listen, I'm one of his left shoulders, aren't I? Read Acts. Am I left shoulder? Am I left shoulder? I don't care what you are. Am I left shoulder? You're an Uncle Thomas. Your Allah says I'm going to hell because I'm black. You know what I mean? Here's what I mean. Let's walk away because it's triggering me. Uh, sorry. Uh, in a, anyway, you can hear it now that they are racist. And rather than using an intellectual yeah, argument, like, like, rather than using an intellectual yeah, argument, he used I'm a racist slave. He called him a white like that. slave. Is that, is that only argument you've got? So therefore pedophilia. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, therefore pedophiles. Okay. Acts 13.1, they call black people the N-word. That's where it started. Yeah. Major is a that's word of a comfortable. That's where it started. Look what George took This is what I mean as an idiot. You don't know what you're speaking about. You don't know what you're speaking about, dude. Islam is racist. Yeah, why? Let's ask him why do you think Islam is racist? Yeah, big time haters. Yeah, Muhammad black slaves. You know, he is. Muhammad are black slaves, dude. Coke, 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 coke. Muhammad are black slaves, dude. Muhammad are black slaves. Why is he a black slave? Hear me. He's a slut, Joe Joe. Easy, easy Ethiopian. So what? How old is your church? Because they're trying to. What did Muhammad say about Ethiopians? Oh yeah, Ethiopian. Ethiopian so basically, Muhammad said that the Ethiopian man has a, had a head, has a head like a raisin. There's a guy. I don't know his name is. There was Saudi. He came from Ethiopia. That's how he brought Muslims to Ethiopia. But doesn't make. Ethiopians like Muslims, but they have half of, half of I mean, less than Muslims. But it doesn't. We, we never had fight Muslim people. But people like this, how they speak, they speak the haters, haters like doesn't make that. I mean, help. I mean, the the face is real or not? Yeah, and, uh, I'm believing Christians. So I'm proud of. Can my, you can you tell us because a lot of people they um, ignorantly say that the white man brought Christianity to Africa, but the Ethiopian, Ethiopian church, how old is it? It's old enough. How old? old? Tell us. I don't know exactly how, but thousands it is. of years. Oh, yeah, it was there from the beginning. So there you go. Even even the, the, I mean the, the, the Quran comes from 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 Bible. I don't know if you guys if you believe or not. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. It's, it's comes from the it comes Bible. From, from, from Bible. 
agnostic text as well. Yeah, like, yeah most of yeah. The, the, the things comes from all the it's copied. You know, like, French copies. Mm. Copied and twisted. Yeah, twisted. So I want to say something, you know, that you've just heard how that man is racist. If you're a black person, right, and you're a Muslim, you really need to leave Islam because uh, Allah, Muhammad, they hate you as a black person. I'm sorry to say, and I can prove that to you. Um, it says um, in, in one of the hadith, it says that only white people will make it to heaven. Yep. And it, you will, you know, so I mean, imagine if I was white, I'm white, and they say you have to be black to make it to heaven. And it says, um, on the day some faces will turn white and some will turn black as for those whose faces turn black it will be said do you disbelieve after you believe then the taste of punishment for what you use reject but as for those whose faces will turn white they will be within the mercy of Allah they will abide there within eternally I mean what a disgusting religion seriously and um, uh, in the yeah in the I'm a Christian we are Christian, we were just doing a wrap up in the Quran 3960. It, it says, On the day of resurrection, you shall see those who lied against Allah. And hear this their faces shall be blackened. Is there not a hell and a boat for the proud? You see, if you're a black person, you're damned. Because according to Islam, Satan is black. I mean, I ask you, um, why do you want to be a black Muslim? You know why? Why would you be like? I'm sorry. Um, and I end this with this. And I heard the apostle say, "Whoever wants to see Satan should look at Naphtal. He was a black man with long flowing hair, inflamed eyes, and dark ruddy cheeks." Allah sent down concerning this to those who annoy the prophet. That is a painful doom. Gamil to Muhammad and said, "If a black man comes to you, his heart is more gross than a donkey's." Can I ask you, sorry, because you're black people, how d does that make you feel when you hear this? And he called, he, he called Jono, that guy called Jono a white slave. How does this make you feel? Like, he, well, he called him a white slave, but how does it make you feel that Islam teaches that black people are going to hell and Satan is black? How does it make you feel as people of color? Huh? No, I understand, but it is, it is um, satanic. How does that make you feel about this? So, look, I'll, I'll just say this, if you could point the camera this way for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so basically, look, I'll say this, look. As, as you can see, the Muslims are running again and again and again. Right, from, God bless, man. So, I, the guy brought up Acts 13, one, right? For so, example, the term Niger is literally used as a part of an African country. So, I mean, again, if you're going to say the term Niger is racist, then we may as well say that, that, that Nigeria, yeah, racist. Nigeria is racist, Niger is racist. <laughs> like, most of Africa is racist, according to this idiot, which makes no logical sense. Look, the other thing is his interpretation of John 1, 1, right? He, he calls it an equivocation fallacy. Now, I want to know what part of his arsehole he got that information from, because it definitely wasn't the right part, and I'm it definitely sorry. weren't the right... Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should have sworn, but it's ridiculous, the comments they make. For example, John 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, there's no indication there were two God, because, again, the Word was God is used in the term hafios. The hafios is a connection to the aphios, used in the very next chapter. It's a term of nature. That's how Christians understood it for thousands of years. Now, now, notice the contradiction with Muslims. Muslims have their tafsir, their Quran, their hadith. They've had it for hundreds of years. And they always tell us that we have to interpret their Quran and their hadith through that specific lens. In fact, their da'i will come to us and say those very things. That's why they're scared of me. Because I tell them honestly, if you're going to do that, if you're going to appeal to tafsir, Quran, hadith, then I can appeal to the church fathers. I can appeal to John Chrysostom when he literally mentions in John 1 that that's strictly talking about the father and the son. I don't have to turn to your sources. The other thing is, the guy, obviously, as you can see, has mentioned that he's, about his prophet. His prophet is a white slave master. For example, his prophet had white hands, was hadith. White armpits, according to hadith. Like, white shins, according to hadith. He was a white guy. And he was a white, slack jawed yokel slave master with a ginger beard, as we can see the brother Yusuf over there, yeah? No cap in it. You can put him. <laughs> My man has literally uh, Yusuf. My man has the, he has, he has the, he has the equipment, you get me? That's what Muhammad would have looked like. If you go back in time, that's what Muhammad would look like. Yusuf over there, right? But anyway, yeah. Muhammad was a, a white slave master. He owed black slaves according to your own traditions. And he traded, because he saw the importance of a white man over a black man, he traded two black slaves for one white, for one white slave. 
And he literally said, a black man has the head of a raisin. An Ethiopian man. Now, um, Mohammed, Hij not Mohammed Hijab, Matt, what's his name? Ali? He hangs, he's, he's Ali, he's, yeah, Ali Dawa, basically. He's Mohammed Hijab's girlfriend. He basically came out and said, Karaji isn't a black man, but it's a white man from a certain continent. No, it isn't. That wasn't even speaking about Karaji. And even if it was, a Karaji is, is definitely a black man, according to Adif, because he was Ethiopian. I mean, clear as day. I mean, you got to understand, with these people, the only response they've got to me bringing listen destruction to their hadith destruction to their quran is i either don't want to talk to you or you're shaking muslims get better arguments seriously you're embarrassing yourself i've been doing this for two years it took hatun you got so threatened that hatun couldn't even come to the park and she's four foot something this is how pathetic you are if, if that is your foundation the fact that you're so uncertain of your religion that some random guy some random nobody from south london and buddy uh <laughs> And Hatun, a four-foot lady, can interrupt you. Then, bro, you know I've got nothing, unfortunately. But anyway, look, come to Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. God bless. Okay. My friends, do you think Uncle Tom is a racist term? Yeah, because he called me an Uncle Tom earlier. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just racist. I'm not an Uncle Tom, and that's very racist, my friend. This is what Islam promotes, mate. I'm just letting you know. Just letting you know. Come to Lord Jesus. Forget Islam, man. Just letting you know. Just, let, just being honest.